HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. Founded by Dr. Jill Tanzi in 2003, the dentist at Hopkinton provides state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into the New England Sports Center for Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey. Today they take on Dover, Sherborne, Weston, Tom Nappy alongside Eric Carty, Joe Frackleton on camera. The Hopkinton Hillers 8-0 on the season. Dover, Sherborne, Weston 3-5-0. The Hillers have just been dominating their opponents as of late. Their most recent game was an 8-1 victory over Norwood. A certainly a very impressive victory over a good Norwood team. Eric, it's been pretty amazing how the Hillers have just been dominating their opponents uh, up to this point. Yeah, what a great stretch of hockey they've had, you know, aside from that one loss in the, uh, the finals. Uh, what a win streak that they've got going. You want to start off hot, and they certainly have. And they hope to continue that trend. They have Dover, Sherborne, Weston today, and then the very good game next week at Holliston, who's also having a great season. That should be a good showdown. And then they'll take on Ashland on the 22nd right here at New England Sports Center as we are just about ready for Hiller's hockey. Let's tell you a little bit about Dover Sherborne Weston. They finished 7, 10, and 3 last year, just missing the playoffs. And last season they lost 5 to nothing in the only meeting against Hopkinton. And they've also lost at least their last five to the Hopkinton Hillers over the years. But they're certainly tr gonna try to change that today. Dover Sherborne Weston just getting off a four to one win over Northeast before that a pair of losses against Holliston Peabody and Ashland. But they're certainly uh, hoping to turn that trend around and we know that Whenever these two teams meet up, it seems to be a pretty good game, Eric. Yeah, all those Tri-Valley uh, teams, uh, you know, the, with that uh, league, it's always, doesn't matter who's got the uh, the better of the, um, in the standings, but they always seem to come out and play tough against each other. All right, well, they're just about ready for hockey. We're going to have the national anthem and the pregame introductions coming up. So without further ado, we'll send it down to ringside. And there you have it, the national anthem, and we are ready for hockey here at the New England Sports Center. Gray Bailey in net today for the Hillers, and for Dover Sherborne Weston, it'll be Will Semelis, a junior. And we'll 
also try to get you the other starters for the Hillers. And Eric, do you think after last year's state championship run, the Hillers are anxious to get back to that level? Yeah, when you get that close, Tom, and you just finish you know, a goal short, you you got that fire and fury to get back there, and they have that for sure. They're really showing that this year. Especially with this top line, this orange line, it's really racking up the points this year. And we are underway. Nova Sherbor and Weston starts off with control. Out there for the Hillers, Drew Saparoshitz, Andrew Gilbert, Sean Walsh, as well as Tommy Hamblett. And those are your starters for the Hillers, and also Kyle Rogers in the starting mix as well. And of course, the combination to look out for is that Walsh Rogers combination. Also, Andrew Gilbert in that game against Ashland had two tremendous hard shot goals. So he'll be someone to look out for as well. Here comes Walsh now around the net, trying to sneak it in, and it's turned away by Semelis. Rogers picks it up, and now Saparoshitz along the corner, sends it over to Walsh behind the net, out to Rogers in the circle. There's a shot just wide. And a secondary shot by Saparosha. It's turned away behind the net. That's Hamblett, and he gets jammed up against the boards by Billy Rooney. Hamblett able to sneak away with it. Out to Walsh, trying to sneak it in. Then Rogers sends it flying. He was aiming for that top corner. Good pressure to start off this game by the Hillers. Walsh denied there. And Dover Sherborne Weston able to work it up the ice. And Gray Bailey gets a stick on it as Dover Sherborne has the line change. And some sharp new jerseys for Dover Sherborne Weston. Well, early on, Tom, the, uh, the Hill is showing that they can uh, control that puck down low in the Dover Sherborne zone. They're doing a great job finding the open man, keeping that puck away from Dover Sherborne, getting some good chances early. And we get an icing call, so we'll have a face off in the Hiller zone. Dan Kirk out there for Hopkinton in the faceoff circle against Tommy Higgins for DS Weston. Out to the blue line, off the wall it goes, off the stick of Griffin. And now the Hillers trying to work it back. Will Quinlan sends it to the neutral zone. Picked up by Cooper Griffin. Now along the near side boards. Griffin sends it over. Sneaking in there is Quinlan. Trying to steal it away from Henry Hamlet. John O'Brien gets in the mix as well, out in front towards Dan Kirk. And now here comes Tommy Higgins. Works it up into Hiller's territory. Tracked down by Ron Sheamus. Over to the near side, here comes Pavit Mera. And he has been unbelievable for the Hillers, the freshman. Having a great season so far and has contributed heavily as the Hillers have another line change. Here comes Ian Chung along the far side boards. Out to Hillers territory goes, Jarrett sends it over. Back to the neutral zone now, over to the corner it goes as it floats up the boards. Trying to work it down, Billy Rooney, he'll send it flying where it's caught by Cam Jarrett. Sends it around the net. Ian Chung is there. He'll meet up with Jake Weinstock. Along the far side, that's Aiden Walsh. Trying to gather up control up against Cooper Griffin. Also getting in on the mix, Joe Carraza. Aiden Walsh trying to send it out in front. And over Sherborne Weston has it. Up the near side, Billy Rooney. Racing forward, there's a shot turned away by Bailey. Pass over towards Cam Jarrett. 11.37 and counting left to go in period number one of this TBL matchup between the Hopkinton Hillers and Dover Sherborne Weston. Good first save. line back out there for the Hillers. Good save early there by Bailey. That one was uh, the first shot for Dover. Almost halfway through here. Higgins trying to gather up control. Takes a hard shot from Saparosha. It's up along the near side now. Here comes Walsh. Walsh flying up the ice. Look out, here he comes. Sneaking between two defenders, shot! And it is gonna be just wide, nearly in. And Sumulus might have got a piece of it as well. And I think he got his glove on it after it went through the legs. He swung around with a glove behind him just to keep that from going in. That's Walsh's patented move. 
Puck ends up out of play. We'll have a faceoff. Faceoff comes at 10.58 left to go in the first period. So far, three shots on net for the Hillers, one for Dover Sherborne Weston. Sean Walsh in on the faceoff for the Hillers. Up against Higgins. There's a quick shot and a glove save. How about the quick stick of Tommy Hamblin? Yeah, nice snapshot. The Hillers have that's what they concentrate on in practices of those faceoffs and those set plays. They've been very good on the faceoff so far this season. Walsh trying to win this one. Sending it over was Hamblet. Along the corner he goes, jammed up along the corner, along with the puck. Trying to sneak it out, and he will. Behind the net it goes. Picked up by Rogers, and he's tied up with Billy Rooney. Back over to Gilbert. He takes a shot, goes off a Blue Raider. Gilbert trying to sneak it in. That hit the back of the net. Almost thought it was in for a moment. Along the near side now. Saparoshitz picks it up. There's a quick shot and a glove save by Subolis. That'll force a faceoff at 10-11 left. I feel like so far this season, the Hillers have had a little bit of a slow start in the first period, but then they really get going in that second period. So that'll be something to look out for. Yeah, they're uh, able to have three lines run through that are uh, all capable of uh, putting pressure on these other teams, which is great. Over to Sheamus. There's a quick shot turned away by Summelis. Hiller certainly winning the possession battle so far. Manser trying to pick it up along the far side boards. Sneaking it up is George Herlihy. Up behind the net, Sheamus. And now with possession, that's Manser. Sends it forward. And here comes Mara. Mara on a break. Look out. Sends it over. Shot. Turned away by Summelis. Secondary shot. That's in. Dan's Kirk with a nice follow-up. Just what a great play from the Hiller's end all the way up. Great passing all the way up. And great follow-up, and Dan Kirk went right to the net, picked up that rebound. Dan Kirk on the goal. It'll be Will Quinlan and Pavit Mera with assists. And this is what's going to be the key for uh, the Hillers when they get into the playoffs. The second line has really uh, added some depth this year with the scoring, and they've uh, been playing great to supplement that first line. So the Hillers draw first blood as Dan Kirk heading back to the face-off circle. And here we go. Along the near side. Sends it over to Manser. And now it's back to Sheamus. Miller is continuing to put the pressure on as Quinlan trying to gather it up. Over to Sheamus. Now back to the neutral zone. Picked up by Manser. Mara. Here comes Mara. Look out. Around the net he goes. Smart move there, had nowhere to go with it, so just hung on. Over to Sheamus, and then Quinlan tries to sneak it in. Still out in front of the net, and it's kept away. Manser will send it around. Along the near side, off the stick of Walsh. Picked up by Carraza. He'll send it around. Behind the net, that's Cooper Griffin. Off the stick of Higgins into Hiller's territory. And that'll draw the icing. The Hill is just dominating right now, Tom, with their puck possession. They're just, uh, they're able to move that puck so quickly and they've got such skill with the forward positions. They're able to just control that puck and just at will get it to where they want it to go and get the good shots. Nine to one in shots on net. A one nothing lead for the Hillers. 8.41 left to go in the first period. Joe Carraza up against Standish Characters on the faceoff. Set forward into the neutral zone. Getting there is Jarrett. He'll send it up the boards. And now Aiden Walsh trying to rush in. Jammed up behind the net by Liam Falvey. Now it's back to Jarrett. Jarrett looking for a quick shot there. And ended up going off of Carruthers. Puck behind the net, controlled by Billy Rooney for the moment. He'll draw a hit, and here comes Aiden Walsh. Rooney up against Walsh. He'll send it up to Jarrett. Gives it right back to Walsh. Out in front, nearly stuffed in by Hamblet. Picked up along the corner by Barnes. He takes a shot. And the Blue Raiders work it back. Good defensive play there for DS. 
that to the outside. Another icing call with 7.49 left to go in the first period. It was starting to wear down DS a little bit here now. I think it's already up to either three or four icing for DS. Could be a long day for them if they don't start getting any kind of possession. There's a quick shot by Rogers out in front, nearly stuffed in by Hamlet along the far side. Sent up the boards by Berman. And now Hamlet trying to sneak away with it. Along the near side, Hamlet's in there. Also in the mix, John O'Brien for the Blue Raiders. Racing up is Burke along the far side now. Over Sherborne Weston, still trying to establish a possession here, but Kyle Rogers has something to say about that. Here comes Rogers, set in front to Walsh, and he nearly was able to sneak it in. Great idea, a nice lead pass. Walsh just couldn't get to it. The Raiders racing up, looking for a shot here. Turn away, secondary shot, and that's going to be wrapped up by Bailey. A little bit of pressure from the Blue Raiders. Bailey with a great kick slide there to get over to get that rebound. And we'll have a face off in Hiller's territory. Dan Kirk up against Standish characters. Sneaking away with it, the freshman, Pavit Mera, here he comes. Working against a number of Blue Raiders there, forces it to the back boards. Zaporoshit sends it up. Racing there is Dan Kirk. Liam Falvey cuts him off, now goes to battle with Kirk. Quinlan sends it back, and there's a quick shot and a save by Sumulus off the stick of Pavit Mera. He had to be quick on that one for sure. A nice pass out front from Mera to Kirk. I mean, he wasted no time, just one time. It's good goaltending so far by Sumulus, the junior. Gilbert sends it around. Quinlan picks it up. Sends it out in front. Kirk, Mera, shot, save. Mera again on the rebound, trying to jam it in, still out in front, and there's Gilbert with the power, it's wide to the right. Jammed up along the near side boards, Quinlan comes away with it, over to Saparoshit, sends it up to Kirk, and now Quinlan back to Kirk, trying to sneak in the backhander, and it's wrapped up by Summel as he gets the glove on it. And right now he's the difference, this could very easily be a three or four nothing game. He certainly is. We'll have another face-off with 6.02 left. Miller switch things up on the ice. Joe Carraza out there. Aiden Walsh puts, pops it up off the boards. Sith over towards Manser. He'll pick it up. Aiden Walsh with possession along the far side. Here comes Walsh racing in. And a pair of Blue Raiders there able to cut him off. As Jake Weinstock gets involved in the action. Just past the reach of Manser there. He'll pick it up in the neutral zone. Sent over to Sheamus. Up the near side, off of the stick of Weinstock, and now sneaking in there, Carraza. Carraza trying to establish possession, and he's cut off. Higgins with it. Into Hiller's territory we go. Manser picks it up. I feel like the Hillers could throw just about any line out there and they'll just be an immediate threat. And then what they do, Charles, they just play great system. Is they, they're always in the right lane, always in the open lane when they don't have the puck. And they're just able to move that puck so quickly that the other teams can't stay with them. Less than five minutes left to go in the first period. A 1-0 lead for the Hillers. They'll switch up the line once again. Non-stop pressure from Hopkinton so far. Sean Walsh trying to get to the puck. There's a quick shot off the stick of Rogers. it went. Walsh picks it up. Racing forward up the far side. Can he get by everybody? Almost, and Hamlet nearly had a goal. Rogers. Walsh. Sends it to the far side, Hamlet. It's back to Jarrett. Now Hamlet once again with the shot and a goal! The wrister, Tommy Hamlet. Real smart play, he kind of looked it off. He tried to sold the pass to the middle and then he just snapped it off. Caught him leaning for that pass. 
That goal comes with 4.16 left to go in the first period. Did he get a little knuckle puck action on that? Uh, he had a pretty, snapped off a pretty good one. Have. But he just he totally caught goaltender by surprise there as he thought the pass was coming out front. Walsh up against characters. Here comes Walsh racing forward. The back pass and the back shot. And it is a save. Rogers nearly had it on the secondary attempt. Hamblin along the far side boards. Walsh trying to sneak it around and it is wrapped up by Summelis. Top Kingdom goal scored by number 19, Tommy Hamblin. Assisted by number 9, Cam Jarrett. Cam Jarrett gets the assist on the Hamlet goal. Time of the goal, 10.44. 3.55 left to go in the first period. A 2-0 lead for the Hillers. Hopkinton trying to improve to 9-0-0 on the season. Gilbert with possession. Over to Saparoshitz. Sends it around. And it's picked up by Rooney. Rooney pops it off the boards. Gilbert going to race to it. And we'll get a whistle here. We'll have an ice. It's going to be icy. We'll have a face-off at 3.31 left to go. Will Quinlan and Tommy Hamblett have goals so far for the Hillers. Kirk sends it back. Gilbert at the blue line, pops it forward towards Mara. Jammed up along the far side. Kirk trying to get to it. Higgins gets in there. Stolen away by Mara. Backhanded pass nearly had Quinlan in front. Quinlan gives a hard shot to John O'Brien along the corner. Good idea there, just a little bit in Quinlan skates. Right back to the Blue Raiders side it goes. And Saparoshit sent it forward with authority. And now, over Sherborne Weston trying to establish something. And a number of trip-ups lead Will Quinlan to have possession up the near side. Here he comes, racing up. Trying to send it to Mara, and it was intercepted by Cooper Griffith. Getting in there now for the Hillers, Reese Griffiths. Looking for a shot off, misfire by Carraza, and it's sent into Hillers' territory. Another ice here. Another icing call at 2.34 left to go. Joe Carrazzo would like to have that one back. Carrazzo up against Carithers. Sends it around to the near side. Weinstock trying to get in there. Here comes Aiden Walsh, he'll take a shot. Over in the corner, that's Hurla High. And it's intercepted by Walsh on the attempt to pass to his left. Along the near side, Reese Griffiths races in. Along the corner, Carraza. Back to Griffiths. And here comes Dover Sherborne West, and on a break, Cooper Griffin sent flying off the ceiling, out of play it goes, into the netting. Carraza with a great back check there, get a stick on that. The shot from making it to the net. Miller's making a line change. 155 left to go in the first. Curtis Terry up against Tommy Higgins. And now out in front, there's a Dover Sherborne Weston goal. They're not going away so fast. That was George Hurlahai with the goal. Nice initial save by Bailey, but. Unfortunately, there was no one there to pick up the DS man out in front. The correction, make that counter Burke, the sophomore, on the goal. That goal comes at 151 left. A two to one game. Terry against Higgins once again. Controlled by Summelis. He gets it over to Rooney. 
Toko gets in there. Jammed up along the corner. Curtis Terry trying to get in there to help him out. Assisted by number 19, John O'Brien, and number five, Billy Rooney. Back the goal. John O'Brien and Billy Rooney on the assist. Trying to quickly sneak it in was Toko. Along the near side. Taken by Terry out in front. Pressure, and it is going to be wrapped up. Toko had a shot on it, as well as Andrew Moore. What a nice wrap up there by Summelis, and the Hillers bring the first line back out with 109 left to go in the period. And threw a screen. I don't even think he saw it till the end, but he got that blocker right up and was able to keep that out, and he's definitely keeping his team in this one. Quentin Barnes and Cam Jarrett are your defensemen. Walsh, Rogers, and Hamlet, your forwards. Up to Walsh, Hamlet. One minute remaining in the period. Back to Walsh. Over towards Barnes, there's a shot and it's turned away. Barnes catches up with it. Slicing and dicing at the puck as Connor Burke trying to sneak away with it. Earl High pops it off the board, set forward by Ian Chung. And it's picked up by Cam Jarrett. Here comes Jarrett flying up the ice. 28 seconds and counting left to go in the period. Jarrett lost it. Rogers trying to knock it forward. And Dover Sherbourne nearly had a break there. Sent off the boards by Barnes. Walsh picks it up. Here comes Walsh, and you can hear Coach Bork telling his guys to get on him. You don't want him to break away. No surprise now that Walsh can take it end to end. And that is going to do it for an exciting first period of Hillers hockey. After one, it's Hopkinton two, Dover Sherborne one. And Eric, despite the fact that the Hillers leading 14 to five with shots on net, we got a two to one score here. And of course, the only stat that matters is the points on the scoreboard. It's exactly, that's what I was gonna say. If you, know, you look at the scoreboard and the shots, you'd think the Hillers are dominating, which they are in that end, but it's, it's still only one goal game. And so they wanna start being able to finish on some of those because they hang around long enough and, and Dover Sherbourne get a couple breaks. Well, after one period, it's Hopkinton two, Dover Sherbourne Weston one. We're gonna take a break. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers, Boys Varsity Hockey on H Camp. H Camp Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. The dentist at Hopkinton provides services including comprehensive dental care, same day crowns, facial aesthetics, periodontal care, cosmetic dentistry, and implant dentistry. The dentist at Hopkinton is located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Welcome back into the New England Sports Center after a Long intermission to Zamboni the ice. We are just about ready for the second period. So far, it is a two to one game in favor of the Hopkinton Hillers. It was 14 to five and shots on net. Your goals were scored by Dan Kirk for the Hillers. And then you had Tommy Hamlet with 416 left. And then Connor Burke for Dover Sherborne Weston at 151 left. And despite the fact that the Hillers were pretty dominant for the most part in that first period, it's only a two to one game. And this Dover Sherborne Weston team, they've gotten some pretty good shots off. And they started to put a little more pressure on the Hillers towards the end of that period. So we should see what the second period will bring. The last time I got the chance to see the Hillers in the second period, after was against Ashland. Started off with a scoreless first period and then the Hillers scored three goals almost immediately. <laughs> yeah, they seem to do real well in the second period so far this year. And that's what they're gonna need to do here to stop the little surge by Dover Sherbin. Tom Nappy alongside Eric Cardio on the call. Joe Frackleton on camera and the fans are bumped up and we are underway in the second period. Gilbert sends it forward right to the net and it's wrapped up by Semelis. Hiller is working right to left across your screen for the second period. And we'll have a face off. Sean Walsh in there for Hopkinton. Picked up by Rogers. 
Sends it along the far side. Walsh racing in. Hamlet trying to get there. Sent into the near side corner. Hamlet sends it out to Gilbert. Look out, he has a powerful shot. Puts that one off of Ian Chung. And now he'll send it to Walsh. Walsh looking for a shot wide to the left. The back pass to Aiden Walsh. And now Gilbert. There's a shot and it's wrapped up by Summerlis. Well, the Hill is starting right where they left off in the first period. The puck move with Tommy Hamlet and Kyle Rogers. This great work down low getting the puck back to the defenseman. And the defenseman making some nice crisp passes for the shots on net. So the first line was out there to start. Now we switch things up. Dan Kirk in there, here's Mara with a shot and it's in! What a goal by the freshman! You keep talking about it, Tom, the face-offs for these Hillers are key. They win the face-off on that set play, and Mara moves right to the center using the screen, puts it right in the corner. The goal comes 46 seconds into the second period. Another quick start to the second. A three to one lead for the Hillers. Dan Kirk on the faceoff up against Higgins. On the near side, Manser takes a big shot into the boards. He gets up, he's okay. Picking it up in the corner, Cooper Griffin. Mara sends it back, one timer, and it is denied. Manser a little wide on the shot. Scored by number four, Pavit Mara. Pavit Mara sends it over to the corner. He's jammed up a little bit along the corner, seconds. bailing him out, Will Quinlan. Along the near side now, picked up by Higgins. He'll take a shot and send it into Hiller's territory. Manser will race to the puck. Sends it to Sheamus, now along the far side of Mara. Mara racing up, looking for another one, and he's intercepted that time. Tracking it down, Sheamus. Sends it to Mara. Kirk wasn't looking at Mara and was able to send it over to Sheamus. Mara trying to work it out of Hiller's territory. Manser now along the corner. Quinlan sends it forward off of Kirk. Here comes Quinlan up the near side. Pops it off the boards, around the net it goes. Hillers make a change. And now back to Hillers territory. It'll be picked up by Jarrett. Sends it up to Aiden Walsh. And now racing forward, Carraza. And Carraza's tripped up. And are we gonna have a tripping here? Looks like to be on the power play. Interference for me. Yep. And we will. So the Hill Hillers on the power play, George Hurl high in the box. Looks like DS is really making a point to try to uh, be a little more intense on their forecheck. They're getting in quicker on the Hillers there, trying to slow down that breakout. But now they'll have to do it a man down for the next two minutes. Power play comes with 12.25 left in the second period. Gilbert with the puck. Back to Walsh. Walsh. Sends it around. Walsh playing a point on this power play. Along the near side, here is John O'Brien racing up. He's quickly intercepted by Walsh. Walsh is going to keep it. Up to Gilbert, now to Mara. Here comes Mara, racing forward. Coach McPherson loves to have Walsh, Rogers, and Mara out there on the power play. And it's worked out well so far this season. Walsh with possession. Up the far side he goes. Racing around the net, trying to sneak it over to Hamlet. Walsh with the puck in the left circle. Back to the blue line of Mara. Mara with a wrister and it's just wide. Might have gone off a leg in front, he had that corner picked. Mara from the high slot, and that one's deflected. Not quite sure if it went off of Rogers or the goaltender, Summelis. Walsh sends it to Hamlet. 
Now over to Gilbert, 35 seconds left on the power play. There's a wrister. Out in front of the net now, trying to sneak it in, and it's in, Tommy Hamlet! The 4-1 Hillers! It's another snipe shot for him with the Hillers are really picking the corners now. Tommy Hamblin with his second goal of the day. Pavit Mira on the assist. The Hillers did a great job on that power play, just possessing the puck, not trying to rush it and lose possession of it. Getting the puck down low, and Sean Walsh made a great play off the backboards to find Hamlet down low to keep it in before he got that goal. Dan Kirk up against Standish Characters. So the power play pays off for the Hillers. They're up three. Jarrett sends it around. Picked up by Kaplan. On the far side now. 12, and number six, Andrew Gibbert. Power play goal for Hopkinton. It was actually Gilbert and Rogers on the assist for the Hillers there on the Tommy Hamlet goal. And there's a shot by Jarrett just wide, still out in front. And it's flung off the glass by the Blue Raiders. Quinton Barnes picks it up, back ice. Over to Quinlan, racing forward. He has some moves, sends it back towards Kirk. And now out in front, Mara with the backhander. And then trying to slice it in was Kirk, but he's denied. Jarrett along the far side. Will fling it forward and around. Kaplan. Touched by Quinlan to set it back, and there's a shot by Jarrett turned away. Back towards Jarrett. They keep it there. with the wrister out in front, back at her Kirk, and he's denied. Along the near side. Back into Hiller's territory, the puck is rolling. And it's picked up by Barnes. Over to Jarrett. Both teams making some changes. Jarrett up the far side, takes a big shot into the boards. And we're gonna have a whistle here. And a penalty against the Hillers. It's going to be on, excuse me, Dover Sherborne Weston. I think it was for that shot along the far side, it was on Hurlahai. Minor penalty. So the Hillers back on the power play for the next two minutes. Yeah, that's the last thing DS wants to do now is give the Hillers another power play with the way they've been playing so far this second. A 4-1 lead for the Hillers, 9-10 left to go in the second period. And the Hillers had many men on the ice, but were quickly able to get off the extra man. Gilbert, and he nearly had Rogers out in front there. Over Sherburn, Western, Slowed down by Bailey. So the call was an elbow. Walsh racing up. Hamlet. Well, Mara gets in there. Back to Walsh. Now Mara looking to set something up and Hamlet nearly had it. Set back by Rogers. And over Sherborne West and able to clear. 118 and counting left on the Hillers power play. 825 left in the second period. Hillers scored a goal on their first power play opportunity. Trying to score another one here. Mara racing up. And he's cut off. And this is going to be sent all the way to the backboards of Hiller's territory. And the Hiller's making a couple changes. Here comes Walsh. Over to Gilbert. Racing up is Gilbert. Gilbert still with possession. Now back to Mara he goes. Now Gilbert looking for the power. And it is going to be denied. Good block there. Gilbert loves taking those power shots from the blue line. And he had a couple beauties against Ashley. Walsh putting on the moves. Here he comes. Look out. 
Sends it out in front. Mara's there. Back to Gilbert. Now Mara pops it off the boards to Rogers. Rogers along the corner. Hill is going to watch out of the and box a here. Misfire there. The power play has expired. 7.04 and counting left to go in the second period. Gilbert gets there, sends it up the near side towards Kirk and Walsh. Great defensive play by Kirk there, lifting the stick to get that out. Walsh pops it back to Hamlet. Now Kirk, top of the circle, there's a shot. Off the stick of Quinlan it goes. Now into the neutral zone. Higgins looking for a shot, and that's turned away. Picked up by Griffiths. A little bit of pressure by Dover Sherborne Weston. Jake Weinstock with possession. Weinstock sends it back to Kirk. And there's a shot out in front. And a goal! And that's going to be Jake Weinstock on the secondary attempt. Great play there. The Hill is just send that off wing or, who's, or center. Who's ever in front there goes right to the net. And they're able to pick up those rebounds, be in perfect position to score. A 5-1 lead for the Hillers, piling it on in the second period. That goal comes with 6.25 left to go, Hillers' third goal of the period. For the Hillers, Tom, they're just, with their speed, team speed, they're just so easy to gain the blue line. They were able to take it right in on Dover Sherbin and set up. Raz up against Roan. Picked up by Bourbon. Kaplan. Sends it back. There comes Aiden Walsh. Walsh putting on the moves, and that shot turned away. And Kirk was on the assist of that Weinstock goal. Tripped up is Reese Griffiths. Looks like he'll be going. We're going to have a delayed call here. Here comes Weinstock. Shot, and it's saved by Summelis. We're going to have a penalty here. And it'll be the third power play of the game for the Hillers. Perhaps a little frustration by the Blue Raiders. Yeah, all he had to do was just uh, get close into the boards, take the body into the boards, but he gave him the shove from behind. Five fifty left to go. And that was nearly a goal off the faceoff. Along the corner, Walsh able to drop it. Cooper Griffin was the guilty party on the penalty. Around the boards it goes. Hill is going with four forwards again with Walsh playing D on this power play. Get an icing here. Yeah, that's been their style this year, and it's worked out well for them. It just allows them to have, between Walsh and Mira, they both have the speed to take the puck right up to gain that blue line to start the power play in the other zone. Mira up against characters. Walsh sends it around. Gilbert. Here comes Walsh. Mira racing forward. Hamlet. Long the near side boards. Hamlet picks it up. Back to the corner he goes. Walsh. Mira. Back to Walsh looking to set him up. Rister turned away. Loose puck is picked up by Rogers. Over to Hamlet along the corner. Back to Walsh in the high slot. There's a shot out in front and it's wrapped up by some of this. The thing that's really impressed me, Tom, about uh, Mira, the freshman, he's got such poise for a freshman. He takes what's given to him. He made a nice look, saw his wing, Tommy Hammond, way up on the blue line, was able to send a nice pass over and start that break in for the power play. I'm going to assume he started playing hockey at a very young <laughs> age. 4.46 left to go in the period, 56 seconds left on the power play. Quinlan sends it back to Jarrett. Kirk along the near side. And back to Quinlan. Now Kirk. Up to Jarrett. And Silver Sherborne was briefly able to slip it by Jarrett as Connor Burke put between his legs, but now picking it up is Manser. Quinlan. Jammed up along the near side boards. Back around we go. 
19 seconds left on the power play. So it could be a, another power play burn by Dover, Sherborne, Weston. But it's a 5-1 Hillers lead. Quinlan racing up. Over to Jarrett. Looking for a shot. There's the power wide to the right. And it's going to be wrapped up by Summelis, a diving Will Summelis. Couldn't tell if Kirk got a stick on that. There was a slight deflection at the end. I don't know if it went off of Dover Sherman play or if Kirk got his stick on it. And Will Quinlan was in there with Summelis, and is he going? We have a call here. Yep. Yes, we do. Cross check. So Dover Sherborne Weston will have their first power play opportunity of the game after one second expires. And right now, Miller's changing things up on the ice. 3.50 left to go in the second period. George Toko, or Jeff Toko in on the faceoff. Along the near side. Toko pops it off the boards. Good win there. And the Dover Sherborne power play opportunity underway. Rooney flings it forward. Now Griffin gets a stick on it. Along the far side, sent off the boards by Sheamus. Nearly got by the goaltender, Sumulus, who was trying to keep it in front. That was pressuring. Toko gets in there. And jammed up against the boards. By Quentin Barnes was, so, was Chung. Along the far side, now Toko tripped up as he's tied up with Herlehigh. Over to Higgins. Here comes Dover Sherborne West and Herlehigh is racing up and that shot tonight. Seems like it's been the first shot in a long time for Dover Sherborne Weston. And that was a one on three. The Hill has had three players back for that. 48 seconds left on the Blue Raiders power play. And the Hill has dumped the puck in and they end up being the first one down there to get it. Carrazzo with possession and nearly a goal by Curtis Terry who tried to slip it through. Another penalty on DS, Tom. And look at that. We'll be back to even strength for the next 34 seconds. And then after that, the Hillers We'll have the man advantage for the next minute 26. Heading to the box is Cooper Griffin for the Blue Raiders. That's his second penalty today. 224 remaining in the second period. It's been Hiller's domination in this second period. Kevin Mira in on the face-off. Standish Characters gets kicked out. And a good face-off for Mira as he sends it back to Walsh. Dover Sherman Weston penalty. Number 13. Cooper Walsh Sherman. racing up the far side. Here he comes. Look out. Racing forward. Leaves it for Mira. Looking for the shot. And he rose it a little too high there. He was aiming for that top corner and there's another shot wide to the left goes Gilbert jammed up along the near side now Walsh able to pluck it out sends it forward and that's it off the stick of Rogers and in what a great tip by Rogers just redirected that perfectly tremendous goal there and what a breakout by Walsh he kind of changed speeds there in the zone and caught over Sherman sleep and was able to put the Jets on to blow by him I don't even think Rogers had to move his stick on that tip. <laughs> Good luck, too. I think Walsh was the one who sent that in. He saw him right there in front, put it right on the stick. The goal comes with 151 left in the period. The Hillers up by five, continuing to pile on the goals. And they're on the power play now. By That's Evans, right, the Jones power play will stand since four, both teams were on a power play Farrell. before the goal. The goal Dan Kirk racing up. Oh Minute 12 left on the power play. Along the near side, back to Jarrett. He's able to fling it forward to Weinstock. Pass by Kirk out in front and turned away his Weinstock. 
Over to the corner. And it's jammed up, but Quinlan able to set it free. Quinlan trying to get it towards Jarrett along the near side boards. And up the ice we go into Hiller's territory. One minute remaining. Manser will track period. it down. 35 seconds left on the Hiller's power play. Less than a minute remaining in the period. 55 seconds and counting. Kirk racing up the far side, top of the circle. Around the net he goes. Back to Jarrett. Jarrett looking for an opportunity, trying to sneak it through. And it was just turned away. Back to Jarrett. Just past Quinlan, Kirk. There's a shot and it is wrapped up by Sumulus. Good puck movement again by the Hillers. Three seconds left on the power play. 26 seconds left in the second period. The Hillers have piled on four more goals in this second period. And so far, kept the Blue Raiders scoreless. Important face off here. The Hillers want to win this, so Dover Sherman can't send the guy out of the box away. Terry up against characters. Toko along the far side, puts it off the boards. Power play has expired. Toko. 10 seconds left in the period. Racing forward, there's a shot and it's wrapped up. Nice shot by Berman, the defenseman. And we will have a face off with 8.5 seconds left to go. Tripped up was Terry. Along the far side now, Berman. That's going to do it for the second period. A dominant performance by the Hillers in that period, Eric. Yeah, just as you called, you know, the second period has been really good to them. They came out fast again, scoring within the first minute, and then uh, aided by a couple of power plays. They're just really controlling the puck, and that's what really impressed me tonight. They're not giving the puck up, not turning it over. They've had great plays in the neutral zone, either using the boards or getting it down low, not turning the puck over and, and getting great scoring opportunities. Well, the Hillers leading in shots on goal, 29 to six. Hillers domination, it's continuing on. And we have another period to play. The Hillers up after two, six to one. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. The dentist at Hopkinton provides services, including comprehensive dental care, same-day crowns, facial aesthetics, periodontal care, cosmetic dentistry, and implant dentistry. The dentist at Hopkinton is located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center. We are just about ready for the third period between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Dover Sherborne O'Weston and a good amount of fans showed up today. The Hillers faithful to see the Hillers take on the Blue Raiders. Hillers trying to improve to 9-0-0 on the season. Perhaps they can run the table this year, Eric. Perhaps. <laughs> yeah, but right now I think they're looking for their main goal is to make the tournament. So after uh, a great 8-0 start there, that's goal number one and then continue game by game. Hillers added four more goals in the second period. Pavit Mira had the first one. 46 seconds in, and then Tommy Hamblett had one with 10.53 left to go in the period. And he was assisted by Mira on his goal. And then Jake Weinstock had a goal with 6.25 left to go. And then he had Tommy Hamblett net one with or excuse me, uh, Kyle Rogers net one with 151 to go. So it was a scoring fest for the Hillers in the second period. Will they continue to dominate here in this third period? We shall find out. Yeah, with well, a 6-1 lead, the Hillers want to do is just make sure they don't get into any bad habits. They just want to keep playing the way they have with uh, great breakouts, possessing the puck, not making the turnovers. 
Curtis Terry, Andrew Moore, Jeff Toko are your forwards. Your defensemen are Drew Saparoshitz and Andrew Gilbert. Curtis Terry up against Cooper Griffin on the faceoff. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi on the call, Joe Frackleton on camera. It's our pleasure to be with you this afternoon from the New England Sports Center. Along the far side corner, and a big hello to all of those who are watching live on YouTube. It's been a fun one, well, especially if you're a Hillers fan. Over to the near side, a Cooper Griffin. Saparoshitz will slow it down. We do have a new uh, goaltender for the Hillers. They have the freshman in there. Jack Lang is in net for Hopkinton. So Coach McPherson going to get Jack Lang some experience between the pipes. As Terry puts it over to the far side of Moore. Around the boards it goes. Picked up by Billy Rooney. Cooper Griffin gets to it. And here comes Kyle Rogers looking for a shot just wide to the left. Toko along the corner. Sends it over to Terry. Here comes the Blue Raiders trying to work their way up. Rogers flips it up in the air and it's pulled down by Hamlet. And it's going to go Dover Sherborne West in direction. He thought he was on the basketball court for a minute there. <laughs> oh, what a great play by Terry. On, on his uh, knees, the one he had to keep in there. Thought he was going to spike it for a minute. <laughs> for those of you tuned into Hiller's hockey, we'll give you a football update. 49ers currently leading the Vikings 24 to 10. And the girls team too. Shout oh, that's to them. right. Very good point, Eric. The girls team with their third consecutive game that they got a point in as Walsh tries the net one. Walsh and Rogers were coming down hard and they nearly were able to slip by Sumulus. Like Walsh was caught off guard. He had the wide open net, but was trying to get it back to Rogers. So again, a big congratulations to the Dover Sherborne Hopkinton Girls Co-op as they tied today at one apiece and their third straight game with at least a point. They've had a win and a pair of ties, so they're starting to rack up those points over there. Sheamus along the near side over to Hamlet. Here comes Walsh. Along the near side. Hamlet was trying to knock it out. Higgins going to send it up. Sheamus is there to collect. A little bit of back and forth action to start this third period. Michael Berman sends it up the far side. Walsh jammed up. And helping him out there is Kyle Rogers. Here comes Rogers. He'll flip it forward. We'll have a line change for the Hillers. Have it Mira racing towards the puck. Over to Rooney. Ooh, out towards us it goes. <laughs> I, that was a close call. We'll have a face off in the Dover Sherborne Weston defensive zone. Getting nervous for you there, Eric. <laughs> Lucky he didn't make it this far. Hamlet along the near side. Sends it over to the far side boards where Quinlan and Berman are waiting. Here comes Finn Meyer. He'll take a big shot into the boards by Mara. And now it's going to be wrapped up by Semelis, and he'll leave it for Hamlet. Dan Kirk tied up with. Hamlet along the far side. Quinlan sends it over to the corner. There comes Mara trying to sneak it around. Out in front, Quinlan shot wide to the right. Roan gets there for the Blue Raiders. Jammed up along the near side now. Again, some good board play there for the Hellas. Berman will pick it up. Off the stick of Quinlan. And now, tracking it down is Mara in the corner, along with Barnes. Up the near side we go, here comes Barnes. Sends it up to Quinlan, who will send it around. Hiller's making a change for a pair, as Weinstock and 
Peraza are in the game, as well as Aiden Walsh coming in now. Aiden Walsh with the puck. Sends it back. Over to Jarrett looking for a shot. A little bit wide there. Weinstock pops it around. Peraza sends it further around. Jarrett along the far side boards. Hiller is still controlling possession wise. Aiden Walsh trying to leave it for Carraza. Just relentless with the forecheck, Tom. They are just buzzing down low. They're getting right on top of Dover Sherby. They have no chance to get that out. Jarrett just past the reach of Aiden Walsh. Yeah, it's been pretty unbelievable how they, they have just been dominating possession wise. Quentin Barnes will track it down. Dover Sherborne Weston will make a change. Sent up the far side, getting to it, Liam Falvey. Jarrett. Sends it forward, Falvey's there for the Blue Raiders. And off the boards goes Burke, jammed up along the near side. Toko, trying to escape with it. There's Falvey. 9.53 and counting left to go in the game. Things are looking good for the Hillers. We're up six to one. We're gonna have a face off in Blue Raiders territory. Off the icing call. Curtis territory up against Standish characters. Along the far side. Here comes the Blue Raiders. There's a shot turned away by the freshman, Jack Lang. And now another shot, and that's off a defenseman. Blue Raiders starting to provide a little pressure. Gilbert sends it up, just past the reach of Moore. Terry. Over towards Moore, here comes Moore. And he's tripped up. And we'll have a face off on the offsides call. Both teams making a number of changes. Faceoff comes with 9.07 left to go. Sent over by Manser. Up the near side goes Sheamus. Picked up by Hamlet along the corner. Back over to Sheamus. There's a shot, and it's wrapped up by Sumalis. Sumalis had a good look at that one all the way in. Some good power on that one. Walsh on the face off. Along the near side. Sheamus trying to fight off the defender. Weinstock sends it forward. Hamlet trying to pick it up behind the net. Jammed up a little bit with Henry Hamlet. Over to the circle, there's a shot and that's in! Sean Walsh saw the opening and exploited it, it's 7-1 Hillers. Yeah, that's, that's fear four, that's what you want to do. You want to skate out of the corner and use that defenseman as a screen, and Walsh just brought it perfectly to the slot. Put a short side right through the defense's legs and the goalies. Yeah, that side of the net was just wide open. And Hillers up by six. The official having a discussion with the scoreboard right. operator. We're going to have a running clock here. I believe it's, it's either going to start now or if the Hillers score one more time. Yeah, I think it does start now, Tom. And there it is. Running clock throughout the remainder of this game unless the Blue Raiders are able to score another goal before the Hillers do. Here comes Mara. Mara with a shot! Wow! The power! What a beauty by Mira. These Hiller forwards, they're just picking that spot in the net. He was wide open coming up the far side. It was Mira, and the, the only thing in his way was Summelis, the goaltender. And Mira wins that battle. 
the freshman sensation. Reese Griffiths sends it forward. Here comes Dover Sherborne Weston. And the bench giving a loud cheer with some nice hits. Big hit by Griffin. Racing up, Weinstock. There's a shot wide to the left by Griffiths. And that one turned away along the far side. Sent over towards Griffiths. Up the near side, Weinstock. Here comes Griffiths and Weinstock. Griffiths racing in, shot, turned away. Nice save. Excuse me, that was Aiden Walsh. And he's going to go for a, either a rough or a board. Eric, is it just me or are they missing a goal on the scoreboard? Yeah, I don't think they put that last one up. They're one short. It's 8-1 to one Hillers. Going to go for the rough. So, Dover Sherborne Weston with a power play opportunity as Aiden Walsh in the box. Racing to the puck is Terry. The Hill is just unbelievably beating Dover Sherborne every time they ice it during the uh, penalty kill. Hopkinton penalty by number seven. He leaves it behind him. Two minutes for Rutgers. penalty. Here comes the Blue Raiders. Rooney racing up the far side. Jarrett catches up with it. 5.38 and counting left to go. We have a running clock with the Hillers up big. Up behind the net now, Jarrett. Misplaced it and now able to knock it out with his skate. That's up past the reach of Carraza. The Raiders looking for a shot here. And racing forward was Rooney. He'll send it back. There's a shot turned away by Lang. What a save by the freshman. That was Cooper Griffin with a good shot aiming for the five hole. Lang read it perfectly. Great shot save. Pass over to Higgins. He's jammed up along the near side with Weinstock. And now it's back to Rooney. Rooney gonna race up. Puts it wide. Up the boards it goes. And a battle along the far side as Gilbert gets in there. He's up against Chung and Another nice job by Lang over to the near side it goes. Saparoshitz racing in. And we're gonna have a call here. Or did the net come dislodged? It looks yep, like the net, net might have moved. Six seconds left on the power play. Blue Raiders putting the pressure on, but the Hiller is holding up. Yeah, it looks like DS play is gonna go now for an extra shove after the hit. Looks like we're gonna have a player go. from both sides going. Andrew Gilbert will hit the box for the Hillers. And it'll be Tommy Higgins for Dover Sherborne Weston. And for now, the Blue Raiders will have the band advantage, but in six seconds will be at even strength. Clock continuing to run, by the way. We do have a running clock. So despite the action in the game stopping, that clock doesn't stop. And we have a discussion with the scoreboard operator and the official as he's explaining the penalties. But the Hillers are going to improve to 9-0 oh, and 0 oh on the season. Pretty impressive stuff. Yeah, that's great. 18 points there, so they'll be just two points away now from securing the tournament breath. And it looks like we're going to have a pair of Blue Raiders. I thought they were leaving the game. I thought they might have got thrown out, but... And they are. So heading to the locker room a little early is going to be George Hurley and Tommy Higgins. 
It's one thing in high school, you, anything after the whistle is the refs, there's no uh, toleration there. So the clock continuing to run, 2.35 and counting left to go. It's another impressive dominant TVL victory for Hopkinton. Coming up next for the Hillers, they'll have some uh, tough competition. They got Holliston on Wednesday. It's an away game. And then Ashland on the 22nd, which is a Wednesday as well. That's a home game. We'll certainly be there and have the game live for you on our YouTube page. And of course, available on HCAN. Those border, border town games are always fun to watch because that's where the, the kids all grow up playing together and the, the demons, so they most of them know each other. And Hillers have a target on their back now with the undefeated season so far, so they'll be gutting for them. It's bothering me they haven't corrected the scoreboard yet, Eric. <laughs> they didn't wave off the goal, did they? No. <laughs> Jeff Toko is going to come out of the game. Hillers had too many men on, or did they? Now there's all just kinds of confusion. The clock's still ticking, running clock. It's game will be over in a minute and 20 seconds anyway. Curtis Terry, Terry up against Standish Characters. Good face off win there for Terry. And how about the Hillers youngsters coming in, getting some significant playing time in this third period and holding up very well. Including Jack Lang in net, making a couple of great saves. Less than a minute left to go in the game. The Hiller is up eight to one. And we're gonna get a call here. And I don't think the call's gonna matter, Eric. That mm. clock's gonna run out in 35 seconds. Well, because of the old inadvertent whistle. And <laughs> All kinds of uh, confusion here in these closing seconds of this one. Scoreboard operators confused, the officials confused, I'm confused. The announcers are confused. <laughs> <laughs> and Spanish characters is kicked out of a face-off, and that's going to do it. Game over. The Hillers are going to win. 8-1 to one is the final score. They never added it on the scoreboard, but we'll go with 8-1. to one. The Hopkinton Hillers are going to improve to 9-0 and oh on the season. Over Sherborne falls to 3 6 and 0. Oh. A great win by the Hillers today, Eric, and they just continue to dominate. You can't say enough about them. Just, they're just playing perfect hockey right now, Tom. They're just uh, in all the zones. They're doing what they need to do. They've got the speed, they've got the skill, and they're able to roll three lines through. And tonight, the fourth line, even showing their skill and speed uh, as well. Just a, a great line lineup from uh, top to bottom. It certainly is. All four lines, just tremendous. And the Hill Hillers will have some tough competition coming up, so things will certainly get interesting. But the Hillers 9-0-0 on the season with a 8-1 win over Dover Sherborne Weston here today. Well, that's just about going to do it for Hopkinton Hillers hockey coverage. For Joe Frackleton on camera, my broadcast partner, Eric Carty. I'm Tom Nappy. The final score for the final time. The Hopkinton Hillers take down Dover Sherborne Weston. 8-1 to one is your final score. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon. This has been Hopkinton Hillers, Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Take care, everyone.